picture and draw the lungs out to the side. This gives us a view of the medial surfaces of the lungs. There's a lot to see here. We'll look at blood vessels first. This is the aorta, heavily calcified in this specimen. It's been divided just at the beginning of its arch. Here's the divided right pulmonary artery entering the hilum of the right lung. Here's the left pulmonary artery. A little below the pulmonary arteries on each side are the pulmonary veins. Here on the right, here on the left. Above and behind all the great vessels is the lower end of the trachea, or windpipe. It passes downward into the thorax, just to the right of the aortic arch. Here are the same structures in a different specimen. Here, we've left the lower part of the pericardial sac intact. Here are the divided ends of the pulmonary arteries and pulmonary veins. Remembering what we've seen of the heart, it's not hard to envision the pulmonary trunk and its bifurcation here, and the left atrium, if we were to stretch it out, here. If we take the aortic arch out of the picture, we can see the trachea coming down through the superior thoracic aperture, behind the upper part of the sternum.